Hello everyone, welcome to Vinod Ratinam Tutorials. In this video, we are going to learn about Python modules. Before that, if you are new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe because every week at least 5 videos related to data science will be uploaded. So make sure you click on bell icon so that you won't miss any upload notification. Let's go for today's topic. Let me explain with one of my AI project and this project is about implementing the artificial technology into the drones. Drone you know very well that is UAV. In case if you are working along with me on this project then just tell me how you will plan coding for it. You know how drones work. So we must code for configuration, then code for search algorithms like A star, D star algorithm, then code for simulation parts and so on. We have n number of functionality in order to control a drone. Now tell me whether you will code all these functionality in a single python file or you will split the code into different python file and link it together. It's a common sense. We will be coding it in a separate python file as per the functionality. And these each python file is called module. Here this is a project folder which contains three module file. How we are dividing is one file belongs to how a drone should take the path that is such algorithm implementation. Then planning utility like all the setups how fast it should go and other setups then animation part like that and each file contains n number of functions if you consider motion planning we have almost 150 functions into that and this is how we will separate our functionality in module wise and we will club it together Mostly Python module concept we will use while creating bigger projects. Just tell me why we have to organize our project like this. So first of all splitting of a bigger problem into smaller chunks makes our work more easier so that another person can work parallelly at the end we can club it together. And second thing we can reuse the functionality again and again so you no need to code multiple times you just create a file and you will call it using import keyword and third one it is very easy for maintenance for example you have some issue with the algorithm what you will do if it is a single file it is very tough for us to maintain but if it is a separate file it will be easy for us to know exactly which file it is which function it is so directly we can go and modify it it means maintenance is very easier. Now we will create some file with simple python program and implement those concepts. First step we have to create a python 3 notebook. File name is user defined function. Just rename it. Now inside this user defined module we can have n number of functions but for time being I am just including only one function that is welcome user function which we already learned and this function when we pass the name it will display the output like dr that particular name welcome to python tutorials now convert this python file to a module and import whenever we want how to do that so we created this file now download as you can see python.py just download now the file got downloaded so this is the file the next step is after downloading this file just search for lib you will get the anaconda link open the location try to find the anaconda package in case if you have created a virtual environment the path may vary but just try to find this anaconda 3 folder inside this the file name is capital lib 
so here only all the modules will be available like numpy pandas every file will be inside this particular path now so the file which we have downloaded you have to move it so we pasted our function here user defined function now in order to import the keyword is import easy to remember then we have to mention the file name press tab so that you will get auto suggestion check for user we have user defined function that is the module name enter so we have imported the module now we can use all the functionality inside that module so user defined function dot press tab only one function is available that's why we are getting it if we have multiple functions it will display all the functions welcome user then pass value and execute we got the output it is now like reusing the module file so you no need to code this functionality again and again you have to just import the module that's it the next topic is import with renaming same example I'm using it again then it is not a good idea to type user defined function keyword again and again rather than we can use the alias keyword as you can shorten it UDF from going forward you can use UDF dot user I'm passing my name execute this way also it will work till now we have seen the user defined function in addition to that we have so many built-in modules like numpy pandas but now we will see date time module import date time as dt so that dt dot in this particular date time module we have these many number of functions I'm going to select for date time dot now this will display the date and time of the system it is 21st early morning 5 a.m. one more example in order to do the mathematical calculation we can use math module the value of pi we are going to check the value of pi so math dot pi run it the value of pi is 3.141 and so on same way you want to find the factorial of a number the factorial of pi is I am using format method math dot factorial of pi run it the factorial of pi is 120 this is how we will use the built-in modules if you want to learn about all the built-in modules you can click on this link we have n number of modules available in the python you can glance it one by one you can implement all the modules as per your requirement then we have an another way to import the module that is using from keyword for example this math contain many functions so uploading full functionality is not a good idea it will affect our performance so I will use from keyword from module math import the function pi so we'll check how it's working then also it will work now from math module only pi function will be imported not full module it means the performance will be literally good then another way we can use this way also like from math import star star means all the functions now math.py run it then also it will work so when you use the star or asterisk symbol it will load all the functions but I already mentioned this is not a good programming practice so don't follow this one just for knowledge purpose I'm saying this one let's do a short recap 
python module is nothing but a file contains set of python statement and a definition we are separating each file logically to reuse it in order to do that first we have to create a python file then code all the functionality then by using the import keyword we can import the module then import and to shorten the file name we can use as keyword then in order to import a particular function we can use from keyword from module name import that function and also from module name import star also can be used but this is not a good coding practice hope you got a clear picture what is python module that's the end of this video thanks for watching happy learning